I graduated high school. I played two years of professional baseball. I thought, you know, I need something I can fall back on because this is not going to cut it. I joined the fire department, and it's been like that ever since. I, I love it. I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it because I, I like the gratitude I get from helping people. If I feel complacent, I don't want to really give my best. I think back to little Wesley. The ER curtain was open, and both parents were there crying. Just to look in her face, but please don't give up my child, please. It's like I was the one that's holding the cards here. We weren't running any calls at the time, so we came into the ER to help out and see if anything needs to be done. When the EMS brought in a, a young child, four-year-old boy, uh, unresponsive. Someone came over to my department, told me that there's some lady screaming for me in the ER. When I got to the ER, I saw um, a close friend of mine. I saw her little boy laying on a stretcher. It was at that time that Dr. West decided to intubate him. So I went in and decided to help out. I, so I took over breathing for the child. He did that for approximately two hours. And I remember the mom asking me, you know, is he going to be okay? Does someone need to relieve him? And I was just trying to reassure her. I just felt a special bond and then seeing the parents just look at me like, please don't give up. You know, that's our child. Please don't give up. The calmness and the way they interacted with the parents, you know, they didn't try to brush him aside. They didn't, you know, make them feel like they were in the way. They kind of did a to me, a great combination of being able to do what they needed to do, but also reassure the parents that it was going to be okay. After I went and walked, took my gloves off and washed my hands, I turned around and the father was right there. He stuck his hand out, tears in his eyes, and shook my hand. Then he gave me a big hug. And then I turned around and the mother was right there and gave me a big hug. And the father said, Steve, I know your name's Steve, but can I have your last name? And I want your address because I want to send you a Christmas card every year and show our gratitude to you. The most wonderful feeling in the world, as I walked in, the child was sitting up, no respirator, no intubation tube, nothing, playing a Nintendo game. Uh, the parents were, were teary-eyed, I got teary-eyed and choked up, and they asked if myself and my partner would pose with the child for a picture. To my surprise, after sometime in mid-January, I received this package in the mail. I opened it up, <laughs> there was a thank you note from the family, and it was a nice, beautiful picture frame with the child and our picture in it. This is uh, to Mr. Roberts with love, Wesley.